Welcome back to Talk with Trinity Legends. Today we have Tehan Karunanayake and Tevin Karunanayake from the first 15 rugby team. Welcome to the show. To start off, tell us how you started rugby. What was the base for you all to start rugby? So basically, uh, we watched a lot of matches growing up. And uh, we think uh, we, had, we had a lot of support from our parents, especially our dad. Uh, he is basically an idol for most of us. And I think that's one of the main reasons we fell in love, in love with the sport. With that, uh, we started watching a few games. Uh, we started training a little bit. Uh, from there on, we pretty much fell in love with it. Y'all being twins, how did twin dynamics work with you? How did y'all make it a strength? I think uh, when you say twin dynamics, it's not a word we usually use, uh, but uh, it's something I think we've always had. Uh, we've always been very competitive when we were small in every little thing we did, uh, whether it be rugby, cricket, even when we played. Even when we played a few board games, we were very competitive. Uh, I think that helped us a lot uh, in this twin uh, time. With the COVID-19 pandemic, how did that affect your mentally and physically? Well, the pandemic was very hard for most of the people I know. But it got easier for us because we had our teammates, our coaches helped us a lot in almost everything. We got a lot of support mentally and physically from all around our circle. So it got easy for us throughout the pandemic. Yeah. And uh, like Tehan said, I think one of the biggest strengths we had during the COVID pandemic were our teammates. And uh, uh, I would say they were probably one of the biggest motivations we had uh, to uh, work on ourselves and get better uh, day by day. Uh, we also had our parents who supported us during the pandemic and uh, we also had a little hope of playing a few more games and uh, I think that played a major role in uh, getting better. Uh, if we talk about an awkward memory or an unforgettable memory, what would it be there? So my memory is more embarrassing than awkward. My in 2019, I guess, I got concussed the St. Thomas match and after the match, before the dinner, uh, I was going around in the hotel wearing only my blazer, couldn't find my room and it was a mess <laughs> in there. So that was one of the memories I have. So when you, when you say unforgettable memories, I, a lot comes to mind. Uh, but uh, one in particular stands out, which happened a couple of years ago, uh, I think it was before this uh, Royal Max Civitiaris uh, Trophy, before Civitiaris Trophy, right before a few, few of us uh, wanted to go to the washroom that night, and uh, the one we were using was, was pretty filthy. And uh, we, we ended up walking around the school, uh, walking around Royal College, uh, trying to find the washroom, and we ended up uh, finding one. We ended up going in using it through a window and uh, after we noticed a small light uh, from the window uh, and all of a sudden I think it was a master at Royal College started shouting at us uh, asking us what we were doing there and stuff like that and uh, we ended up jumping out of the window to explain what we were doing and uh, it's only later that we found out that uh, that Washroom was uh, meant to be open the day after. <laughs> the day after, <laughs> I think that was uh, probably one of the better memories I've had. What did rugby teach us, especially Trinity rugby? What did it teach us? So rugby taught us a lot in life, but Trinity rugby taught us the core values in life. Yeah, I think the Trinity rugby culture is we really one of the richest uh, cultures. Around, uh, around school, around school rugby, and I think uh, that has given us an edge when it comes to learning the core values, uh, respect, discipline, uh, on and off the field, 
and uh, I think one of the biggest things we've learned uh, from this culture is uh, our sportsmanship and teamwork again on and off the field and uh, I think uh, that is one of the biggest things we've learned uh, during our school career and uh, when you talk about uh, teamwork uh, I have to mention our boys, uh, our teammates and I think uh, we created a bond that is probably hard to be broken. That's probably, I don't think it will be broken. So there is one more thing I would like to add. As a team, there are things that we can and cannot control and we rise through it and conquer no matter what the situation is. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for joining with us today, Dayan. Thank you for joining with us today, David. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of Talk with Treaty Legends, Episode 2. See you in the next episode. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye.